Another uh, poem type that we're going to look at is called haiku. It's a Japanese style poem. Uh, it has three lines in the poem. It uses syllables. We'll get to that in a moment. And uh, the first line has five syllables. Second line has seven syllables. And third line has five syllables. So I call it 575. Five. Um, what's a syllable, you might ask? Well, here's what a syllable is not. Okay, that's a silly bull. That's not a syllable. Okay, just make sure this is clear. Silly bull, that's not what we're talking about there. A syllable is when you say a word and you find out how many sort of beats it has in it. So if I said haiku, it has two syllables. Sometimes people clap it out, haiku. Or here's another trick. If you put your hand under your jaw and say a word, Every time your hand moves, that's a syllable. So put your hand under your jaw and say the word haiku, and you go haiku, and my hand moved twice. So there's two syllables. So this one can be a little tricky if you don't get the syllables right and trying to find words that, that match, but just do your best. So I'm going to do an example here and show you how it works. This is an example that I did years ago about spring. So the title was spring, which is very appropriate for right now. The weather, whoops, the weather is nice. Birds are singing. Plants growing summer is coming all right so I have a three line poem so so far so good I uh, use syllables now I just have to make sure I have the needed five seven five so I'm putting my hand under my chin the weather is nice five syllables birds are singing plants growing seven syllables summer is coming five syllables so there's an example of a um, haiku poem like I said I didn't just make it up on the spot I made this years ago um, it takes a lot of practice trying to come up with words and rearranging things um, ask ask some other people for some suggestions or help with the syllables as well okay you're gonna do some uh, haiku practice as well